Mike Tyson asked Hamzat to be on his podcast and Hamzat just straight up turned it down like now. What's up guys? It's been a couple days. On my last video, I made a small boo-boo. And that sucks too, because I was talking shit and it was fun. <laughs> um, I I'm halfway tempted to take it down now, take the video down, just because I, I made a little boo-boo in there. And the boo-boo that I made is I said, last I saw, Patty Piblet, his fight went to decision and he was getting his ass kicked through most of the fight. Well, before I made the video, I did a bunch of research. Yes, I know that Patty's last fight, he knocked out his opponent, but he was getting his ass kicked through the entire fight. So that part doesn't change. But yeah, I made a small little boo-boo. That won't happen again because I'm fact checking myself three different ways now. So let's get to it. Hamzat, we're still waiting on Hamzat to get an opponent. What I'm hearing is Dana White saying that everybody is scared to fight Hamzat. And why wouldn't they be? There's too much risk. There's too much risk to fight Hamzat at any rank, whether you're in the top 10, whether you're in the top five, doesn't matter. It's too much risk. So if you're number nine, I don't know who number nine is off the top of my head. If you're number nine and Hamzat's number 10 and number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight isn't taking the fight, like, what do you have to gain from that? You have to fight Hamzat. Who wants to fight Hamzat? Nate Diaz don't even want to fight Hamzat. That would be like a super money fight. Everybody would love that. I wouldn't love that because I don't want to see Nate go out like that. You know what I mean? That's another thing. Hamzat's provoking Nate and saying he's scared. And he's even like, hey, you know, your brother ran from me. He's trying to get under his skin. And by saying your brother ran from me, Nate looks up to Nick. You guys know how much... Nate looks up to Nick. They call it the Nick Diaz army. You know? Nate looks up to Nick. You can hear it in every interview he talks about him. So to get under Nate's skin, you, you got to go after his brother. Right? So that's what Hamzat's doing. He's, he said that he, went, he was going to say hi to Nick Diaz somewhere. And Nick took off, saw him coming, took off running, thinking that he was going to come to beat him up or something. He was like, I wasn't going to come beat him up. I was just coming to say hi. So don't be scared. And he was like, you don't have to be scared. You know, I just want to fight you talking to Nate. So that's interesting. But that's pretty crazy. Like, that's another savage mentality of Hamzat. There's a few things I want to touch on with Hamzat right now. There's a lot going on. Did you hear the thing with Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson has a podcast called Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. I watch it every once in a while. The one with Habib was a bit bizarre. Okay, I'll just tell you about that one real quick. If you haven't seen it. The one with Habib, Habib didn't want Mike to smoke weed around him. He didn't want him to drink around him. None of that stuff. But the podcast is called Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. Hot Boxing means you smoke a bunch of weed. The room fills up with smoke and you get even higher because the room is full of smoke and you're smoking and you can't escape it. There's, it's not supposed to be ventilated in a hot box room. So Habib is on this podcast and somehow talks Mike and his crew into not smoking and not drinking. Well, Mike Tyson being Mike Tyson, he likes to get all, you know, what for his podcast, he likes to be high, you know? So normally what they do is they smoke during the whole duration of the podcast. And Mike Tyson didn't do that. So what he did is he just smoked everything he would have smoked during the podcast all in one sitting and then went on the podcast and he was like really quiet and like, not all the way into the conversation. He was trying, but it wasn't all the way in there, you know? 
and you know Habib plays it cool and stuff like that but I think what I'm giving you context with is the situation that happened with Mike Tyson and Hamzat Mike Tyson asked Hamzat to be on on his podcast and Hamzat just straight up turned it down like now and that's that's pretty savage in itself because getting that kind of promotion like hanging out with Mike Tyson talking to him about fighting and stuff like that that would put a lot of eyes on Hamzat but Hamzat he's pretty intelligent Hamzat turning down being on the Mike Tyson podcast can you think of a reason why he would do that there's a few different reasons and I'll just be blunt with what I think is going on here and I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is what's going on. Hamzat said something about, you know, Mike Tyson's Muslim, um, and he does, you know, some bad things like smoking the marijuana and uh, taking pills and doing different sorts of drugs and stuff like that. Well, if you're like a devout Muslim, you're, you, well, any religion, if you're growing up in any religion and somebody else in your religion is doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing but they don't care they're doing it anyway but they're still calling themselves the same thing as you and you're trying to do everything by the book now this is just religious people like very religious people if you're not religious maybe you know somebody who is like this but very religious people they don't want to be around uh those things people they don't want to be lumped in with that type of thing they don't want to be hanging out with people who do those things that they don't do and especially if they're calling themselves uh the same religion as they are right so that's one reason hamzat doesn't want to be on the show he doesn't want to be associated with someone doing those things openly and talking about it and then also uh, con connecting their belief system with his belief system. Because what Hamzat would be worried about is someone seeing him hanging out with Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson smoking, and, oh, okay, so they're like, they're not really Muslim. They're just saying they are. Hamzat really is. So he doesn't want to be associated with that and he's very protective of the way he appears to people so that's a very intelligent foresight to think about there's another aspect to it too if you watch mike tyson's podcast he dominates everybody in conversation because people either respect him because he's an older man that's been in the industry and very well respected uh, like respect your elders kind of thing or they're intimidated by him, or both. So on Mike Tyson's podcast, he, he's the lion, and everybody else is a lamb. So Hamza is such a dominant person inside, and already having kind of those feelings of guilty by association, by hanging out with Mike Tyson. If Mike Tyson tried to dominate him, I don't think he would just stay quiet and let him do it. I think that he would react in his own, I'm not saying he wouldn't, he would disrespect him. He's just completely avoiding the situation because he doesn't want to be put in a situation that he already sees by what he knows of himself, knows of his perspective, and knows of Tyson and what he believes Tyson's perspective is. He doesn't want anything to do with it because the outcome isn't going to be good for Hamzat in his social circles and in his mind. So he straight up blew it off, not doing the podcast. And I think that's interesting. Uh, by the way, I grew up in a very religious environment, so I completely understand where Hamzat where his his mind is and um it doesn't it's not anything against him it's not anything negative or bad it's more good than anything because he has a code of ethics that he follows you know 
it's good to have a code of ethics and morals and standards that you live your life by. So it's good that he's doing that. And I'm not saying Tyson's bad. I'm just explaining to you the psychology behind what I think is going on with Hamzat denying the opportunity to go on hot boxing with Mike Tyson. Anyway, I was going to talk to you about several different things in this video, but it ended up being the psychology behind why Hamza didn't want to go on the podcast with Mike Tyson. If you like the content, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. And yeah. Ring the bell. Talk to you guys next time.